Hello everyone, Lady Rose of Goddess Garage here with you today and I wanted to do a video about one of the sacred medicines that are on the medicine wheel of Native Americans. Now the medicine wheel does vary slightly from group to group depending on who you're talking to but I'll give you some of the basic um, lowdowns of the the medicine wheel as I understand it as a Mohawk of the Iroquois nation. So one of the sacred medicines is sage. I have a, a bundle of sage here and I have talked I, or I have done another video um, about smudging with sage and how to do it respectfully um, because it is considered one of the sacred medicines of the native people. So there's on the medicine wheel, there's sage, there's uh, tobacco, there's cedar, and there's sweetgrass. And in particular today, I wanted to talk about sweetgrass because a lot of us have used sage to know how to smudge. If you don't know the sort of the more respectful ways, you can always watch my video smudging with Lady Rose and you can find out some things. There were a lot of people that watched that video and did not realize that perhaps they were doing it disrespectfully, unknowingly, but disrespectfully. So I'm gonna talk about sweet grass. I'm gonna cover a little bit of it because I'm talking about the medicine wheel a little bit too, um, but I, I don't wanna focus on that. So I want to focus on sweet grass. First of all, I love the smell of it. <laughs> um, when you're walking by, and it lasts forever, right? Um, so when you're walking by it, when you have it hung up, and sometimes people will hang it in these long braids or they'll keep it in circular fashion as a reminder of the medicine wheel. Um, but it smells good and it keeps its fragrance like forever. It never fades or anything like that. And it smells, well, sweet. It smells a little bit like vanilla, like vanilla that's mixed with sugar a little bit. So it's got a very sweet smell. And if you put your nose right up to it, It's it's got a faint hint of sort of freshly mowed grass in there. That's not the dominant scent, of course. The sweetness is the more dominant scent, but you can hang this like in your hallway or by your front door or something, and people coming in will always be like, oh, something smells good, and it's your sweet grass that they're, they're smelling. Um, so it's considered one of the ceremonial sacred medicines, sweet grass, and there's a reason why it's braided and I'm going to talk about that. So when you smudge, what you're doing is, um, and like I said, I showed you how to do that in the other video, but when you smudge with sage and with cedar, actually, you're um, taking away all the negativity. Um, you're getting rid of toxic um, elements and energy within your space and all that kind of stuff. And, and that's all good, but then, okay, so now it's cleared out, so now what? So this is when you would be burning your, your sweet grass, because what sweet grass does is it fills that space with happiness, with um, healing and peace, uh, positivity and calm. So it's often used in talking circles. So when you hold the sweet grass, you're the one that can talk. It's also used in healing circles, native healing circles a lot. It's usually used at the end of the ceremony. So at the beginning of the, the healing circle, they will sage and they'll sage the people that are there, they'll sage the circle and everything sort of cleared out, right? But then while we're in this healing circle, there's a lot of stuff that comes up and a lot of it's very emotional and very traumatic and that sort of thing. So it's after all that has been put out that sweet grass is then brought in when we're ready to open the circle <coughs> and we burn the sweet grass and we kind of sage ourselves We'll smudge ourselves, not sage, because we're not using sage, but we kind of smudge ourselves with the sweet grass. We burn the sweet grass in the circle. Um, and it what it does is it brings in that calm, that positivity. So we're leaving the circle in a positive frame of mind. But if you're just doing your home and space or whatever, what it will do is it will bring in happiness 
and peace and calm into your space. Because now that you've gotten rid of the toxic energy, that's great. But now you kind of have a bit of a void and it's going to get filled again. But what's it going to get filled with? So you can guarantee that it'll be filled with happiness and calm and peace when you burn sweet grass. Now it already smells good when you just have it around and when you burn it or when if it's outside and it gets rained on the scent actually increases it's more intense when you burn it so it's it's kind of a cool plant that a lot of people don't really know about i know i had to learn i'm a native american and and uh, i wasn't sure like i know sweetgrass had something to do with my people but i didn't know what now again like i said the medicine wheel in general changes um from you know, tribe to tribe sometimes. But the four main medicines that are sacred is tobacco is always first. And the Native Americans also have a saying, everything through tobacco. Now, tobacco is not your typical, like, is that, you know, a pack of smokes? What are we talking kind of thing? It's not cigarettes. So there is a big um, difference between traditional sacred tobacco and between cigarettes that we know today right so they're t they're actually two different plants and the one that we know for cigarettes it has the nicotine and stuff in it was actually brought over by european settlers and that's the one that you get addicted to now even back in the day when they were growing it like way way back in the 16 1700s when settlers first came here or whatever it was still a little more natural kind of thing it did have the the addictive chemical of nicotine naturally in it so that's where you kind of get addicted to the cigarettes right and traditional um tobacco does not have the nicotine in it and um it grew like in great quantity in many parts of Canada and the US and stuff like that. The only people that don't really use tobacco are the Inuit tribes because they didn't have access to it because there wasn't a lot of tobacco that grew up there. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, like I said, there's two different plants. Now they did smoke as, as Native Americans, we did smoke the tobacco plant that we grew and it, it again, it was not, it didn't have the nicotine in it. Also too, when you smoked it, like we would put it in pipes and you know, we've all heard of the peace pipe, right? So when we smoked it, we didn't inhale it was another thing. It's considered disrespectful to inhale it because we see tobacco as a, the smoke from tobacco is um, sort of a, a pathway to the creator to the spirit and that's what leads us so everything is done through tobacco first so tobacco is always offered first and it's not always burnt either like when you uh, go and harvest some plants you'll sometimes as a Native American will sprinkle tobacco on the earth as a thank you to Mother Earth and to the plant that we're harvesting or whatever it might be that um, we thank them for this food that they're giving us kind of thing, right? Um, or this medicine, if we're picking plants that are, are medicine-based, that sort of thing. Um, and when you Before you go to an elder, it is very traditional for you to bring a gift of tobacco. And it doesn't mean bring them a pack of smokes. It means traditional tobacco. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, modern-day tobacco still based off of the plant that has the nicotine in it and it's mass produced for a profit unlike traditional tobacco isn't usually produced in that way and it actually almost got lost because for a long long time um we weren't allowed to grow it and if we did grow it we weren't allowed to sell it to anybody because it was actually illegal for native americans to sell to anybody but another Native American. Um, and then, of course, it was illegal for us to hold our ceremonies for a very long time. I think it was 1952 or something that the first legal Native American ceremony was held. It went underground, definitely, but you could be arrested and jailed for um, doing 
your own traditional ceremonies as a Native American for a long, long time. It's actually in the Indian Act in Canada. Um, <clears throat> it was part of the Indian Act. So, um, sweetgrass also has a lot of medicinal uh, properties about it. So, if you drink it as a tea, it uh, really helps with sinuses and coughs, things like that. It's actually known as a blood thinner as well. I don't know how it's used as a blood thinner, like what you have to do with it. But the other thing too is it's actually very good for arthritis. So you could wear it in your clothing. Um, many Native American women will have sweet grass in their bras. And a lot of Native Americans will have sweet grass in their shoes because it really helps with the aches and pains going up the legs and the feet and it keeps um, sort of a, a pain relief of legs and feet and I can attest to that that it really does work I've started using sweet grass in my shoes when I learned this and I'm like oh yeah that does make a difference <laughs> um, and plus you know you got sweet grass feet it smells great <laughs> Um, the other thing that sweet grass is known to do is it's known to purify thoughts. So that's part of it's bringing in happiness and calm so that your thoughts aren't racing. So it's really effective when you do uh, a smudging with sage and then you follow that up with sweet grass. Um, it's really good at creating that positive environment in whatever space you're trying to create it. It's also sometimes left at graves and sacred sites, um, much like tobacco is as a little offering. Um, let me see, what else did I put down? Uh, so, oh yes, it's believed to be the hair of the Mother Earth. So I like that. And then we're going to go into why is it braided this way. So it's dried in the sun in these big long, you know, you can see it's not even, it can't even fit on camera how long the lengths of the grass are. And then it's braided. Now it's braided for a number of different reasons. It represents a few different things. It's the hair of Mother Earth and it acts as a <coughs> reminder that everything affects everything. And the medicine wheel goes into that. Um, as well. So it's braided for mind, body, spirit. That if one is out of balance, so are the other two. And it's all about creating that balance between everything and paying attention to the one that maybe is out of balance that will cause the others to get out of balance as well. Now it's also a reminder. Um, there's three layers. So it's a reminder of things we need to embrace in our life. And those are love, kindness, and honesty. So that's the three strands can also stand for that. Love, kindness, and honesty. The other thing that it reminds us of, because it's layered as braids, and when you braid it, you're, you're sort of doing a meditation. There's songs for it as well. And the Native people love, like, stories and songs. Like, our creation story, for instance, takes three days to tell. Like, we're... You know, they they say the Irish people have the gift of the gab. I'm half Irish and half native. It's like, so I'm doomed. That's why my videos are so long. Cause I just like to talk. <laughs> and I could keep talking. And I know when I'm on the phone with my friends or whatever, or when I'm doing a video chat with someone, it's such a long goodbye, right? It's always like, so take care, be safe, love you, bye. And, and I could go on and on. It's usually my friend that has to cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> so I take no offense when that happens because I know, yeah, I'll just keep going. Um, like, like I said, our creation story takes three days to tell. Just for the planting ceremonies of tobacco, there's 230 songs to sing for that. I know when I was on my farm, um, when I butchered my turkeys or my chickens, I always sang them to the other side, right? And I would just keep singing until um, I knew they were on the other side until you know the butchering was done and the it had bled out and that sort of thing so it's like yeah so you know we do a lot of these stories and songs and stuff and um, yeah it's kind of weird how we just <laughs> we go on and on about things anyways so the other thing that the three layers um, do like I said when you're braiding it we're often sort of in a meditative state at least that's where you should be I mean I'm sure there's some chit chat and gossip that happens too but normally speaking it's supposed to be a sacred kind of activity 
and it reminds us that everybody and every situation there's multiple layers to it just like with sweet grass and even though we might know one layer don't assume you know about that person or about their situation or about any situation always be open to seeing the other layers that are there so sweet grass is a good reminder of that um, I like to hang some in my office I like to hang some near my door just as a reminder when I'm coming and going from my home that um, there's lots of layers to different things and to be open to seeing those layers and knowing that they're there even if you can't see them your view of a situation isn't always the only one isn't always the fully correct one that sort of thing so that's what sweet grass kind of brings in in a very happy positive way um yeah so that's the thing about sweet grass i'm going to talk more about cedar and tobacco i'm hoping to do some videos on that but this is the video right now that i'm doing for sweet grass sweet grass where it is on the medicine wheel is um <coughs> excuse me is it's in the northern part of the, the medicine wheel. Now, I don't wanna go fully into the medicine wheel because that's gonna be another little bit, but it's in the northern hemisphere of the medicine wheel. So the medicine wheel, you may know like the black, red, white, yellow um, circle that's divided into four corners, circle that's divided into corners, but it, it represents each of the directions. So north is one of those directions and that's where sweet grass lies so just giving you that little bit i'll talk more about the medicine wheel in another video thank you for joining me and i hope you learned something i hope this helped and go out and get some sweet grass and enjoy it it's beautiful it smells amazing take care bye